Even if you exercise in the afternoon or in the evening after work, you can still create a fasted environment for the sake of preventing low blood sugars and being able to do as much cardio as you want without burning up glucose by making sure that it's been at least three hours since your last dose of fast-acting insulin for a meal. Most of today's fast-acting insulins that we use to cover the carbs in the food we eat stay in the body for about three to four hours. And that last hour doesn't have a whole lot of oomph to it, so it's really okay if you're looking at a three-hour window between when you last took insulin and when you start exercising. Ideally, at the end of that three to four hour window, your blood sugar is in a healthy range that feels safe to you for exercising. The biggest benefit to exercising in a fasted state is that you can start a cardio workout with a blood sugar in the low hundreds or even at 80 if you're comfortable with it and not watch your blood sugar plummet because you're going to burn fat for fuel instead. So if you're gonna exercise at noon, that means that after you eat breakfast, that's your last meal and your last insulin dose before you exercise. If you wanna exercise at 7 p.m. after work, then you just have to make sure that you don't eat anything that requires insulin after 3 p.m. Could you have a couple bites of cheese at 6 p.m., not see any change in your blood sugar and not need insulin for it? Yeah, probably if you were hungry. Or you could just eat your last meal at 3 p.m., Take your insulin properly to aim so that you're in target by the time you start exercising. Do your workout and then eat dinner afterwards. And you will have so much more fun during that workout because you will not be juggling with carbs and insulin and low blood sugar. And remember, if you are correcting a high blood sugar in the four hours before you exercise, Definitely, when it's in the two hours before you're going to exercise, cut that dose way, 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 way back. I would cut mine back to really 25% of my normal correction if it was two hours before I was going to exercise. That's what works for me. Take good notes, check your blood sugar often, figure out how to make it work for you.